Hello guys, welcome to Wounded Trading. In today's video, we're going to talk about the pump screener. This is a separate terminal in our platform, which will help you to analyze the markets very quickly and find profitable trades. So let's have a look at this. The pump screener itself is like a terminal in which you will see the list of notifications, the chart and the option to execute the trades. We do have a number of features which describe what is pump screener, why it's important to use it in order to select the certain assets. And we also have some examples on how to apply the settings for either long or short formats. So let's switch into the terminal and try and see what it is and how to use it. On the left hand side of the pump screen, you would be able to see all the notifications that will be displayed to you based on your settings. In the middle, there is a chart, which is a one minute time frame for the asset that you selected. And at the bottom of the chart, you can see the open interest indicator. This indicator shows the amount of open positions on the futures exchange. If it's increasing, you will see the increase in the open interest. On the right hand side, you will see all the settings which are necessary to in order to execute the trade. You can also expand it to see the advanced settings, which will include the take profit, stop loss and the DCA module that we built in this particular terminal. So let's have a look at the signals first. Each signal will have the name of the asset that you would like to trade, the price change and the open interest change for the certain time frame that you selected and also the counter. Let's have a look at the filters that you can apply. You can select the time frame, the minimum price change and the minimum open interest change. The price and the open interest will vary between 1 and 10 and the time frame will be between 5, 10 or 15 minutes. The different settings of the filters will allow you to filter different possibilities, either to trade in a long or short directions. After applying the filters, you can also select the notifications. You can either switch on the audio notifications. So as soon as the new signal will come in, you will hear a audio notification in the browser. You can also enable the browser notification, which will pop up in your browser as soon as the new signal comes in. And you can also receive these signals based on your filters in the Telegram bot that we have. Let's have a look at all the advanced settings that we have here. So first of all, you can select the exchange and even though the pump screener is only monitoring Binance futures and Bybit futures, you can still trade on any exchange which you connected through the API to our platform. Then you need to select the API itself on which you would like to trade. The pair will be automatically loaded if you click on any of the signals that are on the left hand side. So as soon as you switch the pair, it will automatically be put into the trading parameters. The next thing is the amount per trade. So this is the initial amount with which you will open the trade. In the advanced settings, you have take profit, stop loss, and move stop loss to break even parameters. At the end of the advanced settings, you can see the DCA module. This is a standard DCA module that we have on our platform. So which means that you can create the extra orders after the certain price deviation. In this example that we have right now, the default one is that we have the maximum number of DCA orders, which is 10, the price deviation, which is 0 0.8, which means that if the price will go not in your direction after the entry and will, for example, drop by 0.8%, the extra order will be executed. Then you have the order size multiplier, which means that if you increase it, you will increase the amount with which you trade in every single extra order. And the price deviation multiplier, which means that you can increase the gap between the safety orders as you go along. 
As soon as you put all the necessary advanced settings that you want, you can save the preset and this will allow you to quickly execute the trades as soon as the new signal comes in. Just for the sake of the example, let's just open a trade based on the latest signal that we received. So you can click on the latest signal and then just execute the buy order and it will automatically be created. The new order will appear at the bottom of your chart. You can see that this is for the pair that we selected. At the same time, all the DCA settings that we applied are also saved in the particular strategy and the strategy is already entered. If you click on the strategy, you will be able to see your strategy on the chart. The current position, the take profit, and if you put the stop loss as well, you would be able to see the stop loss. You can also close the position manually if you think that it's time to close the position or in any case that you it's suitable. Otherwise, it will be waiting for the take profit target. As soon as the position will be closed, it will be automatically transferred into the history tab. In the history tab, you will be able to find all your previous strategies that were executed through the pump screener. Okay, so let's have a look at the real trade example. In this one, I'm going to use the SKL pair, which is pumped just now, both on the Bybit and the Binance exchange. And you can see that it's quite a nice and sharp increase in the, in the open interest. You can also have a look at the uh, settings that I'm going to be using for this particular trade. Once everything is ready, I just click the buy button and the position will be created. It will be shown automatically below the price chart. If you click on the position itself, it will be displayed on the chart with a current position, the take profit target and the uh, overall stop loss level. If the price will go down, it will be using the DCA to average out your position. However, a couple of things uh, I wanted to say why I selected this one in particular, because before the sharp increase, you had a nice trading zone, which was a flat market. And as this is the second signal in quite a short period of time for this particular asset, you can see that somebody is pumping this particular asset right now. So the whole idea of such trade is to enter and just grab the short profit from it. So let's just speed up the trade a little bit and see how it's going to be executed. So the trade is now completed. You can see that it hit our take profit target as intended. The core idea in using the pump screener is to correctly select the asset that you would like to trade. That's it for this short video. Best of luck with your trading.